Moon Landing Anniversary NASA's Apollo 11 is proof climate change can be tackled. NASA's incredible moon landing 50 years ago this month proves humanity has the power to pull together its resources and ambitions to combat the threat of climate change, a technology expert has claimed. NASA landed on the moon on July 20, 1969, with less computing power than the average smartphone today. The monumental achievement came at the height of the Cold War and sealed America's victory over the Soviet Union in the space race. And yet, despite a fierce sense of competition between the West and the East, Apollo 11 flew to the moon in the name of all humanity. A commemorative plaque left on the surface of the moon reads, Per men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969 AD. We came in peace for all mankind. The Apollo program also kindled and helped foster a strong sense of purpose and unity among the 400,000 people who made the moon landing a possibility. Because of this cooperative spirit 50 years ago, Professor Oliver Gassman from the University of St. Gallen in Switzerland believes modern climate challenges can be successfully faced. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Professor Gassman, who teaches technology management at St. Gallen, said he is not a pathological optimist or a dreamer. But he likes to think generations of young people can change the world for the better if their ambitions are properly applied. Professor Gassman said, How would we tackle similar big challenges? Because I would say the climate challenge today is a comparable situation. If you take our technology today and our abilities today and consider the situation of 1961 when Kennedy proposed the Apollo program, I think we should reflect a bit on what we would actually need. What is needed, Professor Gassman argued, is a combination of tough leadership, egocentricity and an alignment of the best minds the world has to offer. But the expert also believes none of this will amount to anything if the discourse surrounding climate change will focus purely on the negative effects of the crisis. When President John F. Kennedy envisioned landing a man on the moon in 1961, his natural charisma swayed a nation towards his goal. The moon landing bolstered a sense of national pride and solidarity and touched people all around the globe. An estimated 600 million people around the globe watch the moon landing live on their TV sets, proving people can be united around a common goal. And Professor Gassman said this happened in a world without the instant connectivity of smartphones, email and the internet. He said, if you think back to that time, there was no Skype, there was not even a real telephone conference call that worked on a solid basis. There was no email exchange. Climate watchdogs have warned the Earth is undergoing a climate crisis, exacerbated by man-made emissions of greenhouse gases. There are currently 195 signatories to the Paris Climate Agreement, aimed to reduce greenhouse emissions and slow down the rate of global warming. The International Convention wants to limit global warming from going beyond 1.5 degrees Celsius. So there already is some collective effort from the world to tackle climate change but are we doing enough? Professor Gassman said, society is not aware of the external effects of our living styles. Look at France. Macron is trying a little bit but society is not following him. So. It's not just a question of leadership, I think it's a question of are we ready to do this big common dream. A dream is always better, and we know this from brain research. If we have a positive reason to mobilize the energy of any kind of group, or organization or society. Climate change shows the negative impact of what happens if you don't move anything. Instead. Professor Gassman thinks leadership need to unite people around the positives of fighting climate change. Much in the same way, he said, President Kennedy focused his lunar ambitions on the positive aspects of sending astronauts to the moon. He said, 
Looking back from that perspective today and translating that today would mean the community of Alliance of the largest hunteries in the world getting together to tackle a challenge.